Okay, everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino. I'm tired this morning, I really am. Anyway, uh, I'm sure you are too, especially if you're like me and uh, you just happen to get up at like 4.30 in the morning. Yeah, that's what I do every day. <laughs> All right, people, look, um, let, let's talk on this Wednesday, November 17th, 2021, where to start. How about with, um, with economic news? And what I'm about to tell you is, again, no surprise. The bad economic news continues. And it will continue until, uh, you know, I'm not going to say until it doesn't, like I do with the stock market. But what we need to understand, and if you've been with me, you know this already. Our economy, what is it doing? It is contracting at its fastest pace ever in history as a percentage of GDP. So, of course, as the economy shrinks, well, you would expect to continue to hear round after round of bad economic news. So, I'm, you know, I'm just writing stuff down this morning. So, here's the headline, and I love this because it's always the same. Are you ready? <laughs> uh, housing starts, or home building, uh, unexpectedly, it's always unexpected, you know, because these economists, I don't know what kind of Kool-Aid they're drinking here, it unexpectedly falls. Oh, yeah. And then to follow that up, mortgage demand continues to crater. Why these, these people, these things, whoever they are, continue to get it wrong and it's always unexpected? Well, I'll, I'll leave that up to you. But again, they're trying to feed you dog shit. It's the truth, and you all know that. Um, and it's always the same. You must be lied to. You must be distracted. You must be misled. You have to be convinced that what you're seeing is not real. I've told you that a million times. And that phenomenon will continue. It just will continue uh, in, in perpetuity. That's just the way it's going to go here. So with that said... Stock futures right now, trading doesn't start for about 35 minutes, are, are flat to slightly lower. Risk in this market, people, is rising. The MMRI is 97.7 right now. I want you to think back just a couple of weeks ago. We were at like 85, 84. That's a pretty substantial move. Um, and again, no panic, no fear. We just got to keep our eyes open and understand the dynamics here. The bad economic news will <laughs> uh, keep the stock market propped up. That's really the truth. And the Fed is going to continue to buy assets at a historic pace. So with that said, you know, let's just keep our eyes open for now. All right. If we see the MMRI make a, a big move into like over 100 or so, you know, we'll talk about it at that time. But again, hedge yourself. I have explained to you all how to play this game. Okay, how do we play this game? I have explained to you, you need to be in the market. You should be owning stocks here. Okay, dividend paying stocks, large cap dividend paying stocks. Let these companies pay you to own shares of their stock, which continue to rise here. Okay, um, you want to know what companies to buy? It's very, very simple here. You don't need me to tell you. I have it set up for you right on my website, Trader's Choice, lovely. Dot net. At the bottom of the second page, there's a link in the description of this video. You're going to find a stock screener that tells you buy, sell, strong buy, strong sell. And then right above that is a chart. So and you don't even need to know how to read these charts, people. Put the ticker symbol in. Is it in a long-term uptrend? If it is, well, you know what? And it's paying a nice dividend. It's a large cap. It's a buy. <laughs> really, as long as it says buy or strong buy on the stock screener. Greg Manorino really makes this easy for you. He really does. 
Anyway, so let us move forward here. Cryptocurrencies took a big hit yesterday. They're under a little pressure right now. Bitcoin hovering around 60,000. Okay. Um, gold and silver catching a nice bid here, people. Um, and you know my take on this? You need to be in this stuff, period, the end. That's how you hedge yourself. You get in the market. You should own large cap dividend paying stocks. At the same time, you should be hedging yourself with uh, risk off assets clearly the market is risk on meaning cash flowing into the stock market that's why things like metals go on sale okay and I think cryptocurrencies are on, are on sale too and I haven't been wrong about cryptos ever I want you to think about this ever uh, since I started talking about buying Bitcoin a very long time ago and it was much, exponentially less than it is now so um, again, this is how you're going to hedge yourself here, and, and you know if you if you have the means to invest in other things too, um, like what? Well, me personally, I like artwork, original pieces. I like vintage musical instruments. I think these things here are also uh, have proven to be uh, assets that are gaining in value substantially. And I think that that trajectory is going to continue as well. Anyway, so let's go back here. I told you about the uh, stock market. Futures are flat. Bad economic news. Not going to stop. Uh, MMRI higher. 10-year uh, uh, yield, $1.64. Dollar about flat here. You know, we used to look at the 10-year yield and the dollar you know, kind of independent of each other, but it is all summed up now in the MMRI. It's so much easier to look at and understand. So, yeah, sure, you can look at the dollar, the relative value, the Dixie, you all understand that. It's not absolute value. I know a lot of you continue to be confused about this. Um, let's look over at crude oil. Crude oil what? What is crude, people? The lifeblood of this freaking market. The lifeblood of the military industrial complex. It's, it's about $80. If it falls for whatever reason, people will die. Especially if it falls into the 60s, 70s, you're going to start seeing things, people, like you always do. <laughs> Refinery fires, um, U.S.-backed airstrikes, um, terrorist attacks. It's always the same story. And that's the game that is being played here, people. And I think you are all well aware of that. It's it's so insane. Uh, any, anyway, so let's just put this all together in summary. Right now, understand that risk in this market is rising. It does not mean that we have to run for the hills. It does not mean that we're going to sell positions, get out of this market. Uh, and I want you to continue to ignore and laugh at people who are trying to point to a particular time when this market's going to fall. I want you to laugh at people who are pointing at market tops or market bottoms. Um, this, this, is, this is a near impossibility. You understand? So with that said, we're going to trade the market we have. We're going to take in the environment we are in. And the environment we are in really has not changed very much. It's central banks buying it all. It's central banks who are fulfilling their end game to become the lenders and buyers of last resort, to become the governing body of the world, um, to continue to allow economies around the world to free fall. Understand, none of this here is by accident. All of it, the shutdown of the economy, the brainwashing of people, the control mechanisms, everything I've explained to you, well, it's all here, it's in your face, and I can promise you yet again, you haven't seen anything yet. With regard to inflation, you really haven't seen anything yet here. There's no steps that can be taken right now, zero, by the Federal Reserve that can slow the pace of inflation. It is going to get worse. Don't listen to me. You want to listen to the Lex Luthor of the Federal Reserve? You know, Neil Kashkari? He came out recent, recently explaining <laughs> that inflation is going to continue to worsen, that was his words, over the next several months. I mean, duh, 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 people. You know all this already. Anyway, um, that, that, that's it. Uh, I'm going to get going here. People, ponder the things I say. I want you to think about them. 
And what does it mean for you? I don't want you to sit here. I really don't want you to sit here and just, you know, watch these videos and go, you know, have a cup of coffee or something. Well, if you are going to do that, I want you to ponder what you're going to do about it. Understanding the current environment, the free fall economy, the surging inflation, uh, the takeover of, of the world by central banks. You got to get yourself on the right side of this, okay? I've been keeping you on the right side of this market for years, and I will continue to do that no matter what happens. Whether this market decides to crater, we're going to be on the right side of it then. And everything else. Right now, you and I, we should be hedged. You should be hedged right now. More importantly, probably really more importantly than that, is betting against the hyper bubble in debt. That's the truth. And you do that very simply by... The most simple way is what? If you've been with me, you know what I'm going to tell you, okay? Silver. Physical silver. It's, it's the most undervalued asset on the planet right now, in my view. And I study this market upside down, backwards and in, sideways, inside and out, around the clock. That's the truth. So understanding what I am telling you, if you have a limited budget, if you can only do one thing, Bet against the hyper bubble in debt. Bet against the distortions that exist in this market. And you do that very simply. Again, you can do it by owning and hoarding and holding physical silver. I know I sound like a broken record, but it's really the truth, okay? The risk on is going to turn risk off. And when it does, okay, things like precious metals are going to vault higher than I think most people are going to believe. I also think commodities in, in aggregate are going to skyrocket here too. So this $80 crude oil, you ain't seen nothing yet. You have not seen anything yet. Anyway, I can go on and on, but it's getting awfully long for a morning video. I will see all of you at the end of the day. Love you a lot.